Steelers fans, it is Sunday, and I don't know about you, but I am missing Steelers football, especially on these Sundays. So if you're missing Steelers football, go ahead and like today's video. I'd appreciate it if you do. Welcome in to Steelers Talk Yenzers. My name is Jack Sperry. Today, I am going to be reacting to your Steelers mock drafts. Earlier in the week, I asked for you guys to give me your Steelers mock draft, and you guys did not disappoint. We got multiple seven-round mock drafts here to react to. I cannot wait to get going, so let's just jump right in to the first one that comes from Tony Daniel II. He has, and this is what he has, Paris Johnson Jr. at number 17, Drew Sanders, the Arkansas linebacker, 32, Josh Downs, Eli Ricks, Kobe Turner, and Trey Dean. I think this is a pretty darn uh, I think this is pretty darn good. I'm, I'm not sure if Paris Johnson Jr. is going to make it to the Steelers at 17. I think the I think the Titans are really interested in him right now at number 11, so I don't think he gets there. Uh, but if he makes it to 17, sure, why not? Drew Sanders, really good blitzing linebacker, someone that Mike Tomlin's really going to like. Josh Downs, a super shifty wide receiver. Haven't talked to him so far during the draft process, so I'm not sure how interested they are in Josh, but I guess we'll see on that. Eli Ricks, a boomer bust cornerback prospect. I'd probably want to take a cornerback a little bit earlier than that but overall it's a pretty darn good mock here Tony next up here comes from Sean Manahan and this is what he has Joey Porter Jr. at number 17 every Steelers fans favorite uh, Penn State Panther man uh, Nittany Lion I should say and then trade 32 for 42 and 98 not bad at 42 you get Dewan Jones the tackle from Ohio State I like that Steve Avila guard TCU that's interesting DeMarvin Overshone linebacker at number 80 and then Tavius Hodges Tomlinson. I don't know if he's going to make it that far, man, but I guess we'll see. Keandre Coburn, a nose tackle from Texas. Uh, Stetson Bennett in the fourth round. That's interesting. Trey Dean, uh, uh, third safety, Florida. Uh, so I think this is a pretty darn good mock draft as well. Joey Porter Jr. is going to be a fantastic player. Some of these players, I'm not sure, are going to make it to where he has them. Travis Hodges Tomlinson, probably not going to be there. Keandre Coburn at 120 might not be there. But overall, I think it's relatively realistic, and this is actually something that could happen. I'm not sure if the Steelers are going to trade back from 32, because I think they're going to have somebody uh, with a first-round grade slip to them at number 32 they'll probably end up using that pick but overall I really like this mock draft from you Sean all right guys go ahead and tell me right now who is the best cornerback in this year's draft class this is one of the best cornerback classes I can remember in recent history so go ahead and tell me who's the best is it Joey Porter Jr is it Christian Gonzalez that's who I think it is anyway or is it Devin Witherspoon tell me who is the best out of this group right now in the comment section this is the pinned comment on today's show. So whenever you get an ad break, go ahead and go into the comment section, find that pinned comment, it'll be right there at the top, and answer today's question. Our next mock draft to react to here comes from Jump Street 24. He has Christian Gonzalez in the first round. I mean, Woo, man, I think he's going to be a top 10 pick. He's my number one cornerback in this year's draft class, so I'm not sure if he's going to make it to 17, uh, Jump Street 24, but I like the confidence here. I, Anton Harrison in the second round, like that pick as well. I took him in my, I took him in the same exact spot in my last Steelers mock draft. Mozzie Smith, great run stuffer, wouldn't mind that pick at all. Dan Henley, my number one inside linebacker. You guys know how to get to my heart there. And you got Colby Wood, Wolden, uh, edge rusher, uh, Ray John Wright, Ben Sims, and then you're going to sign Malik Cunningham as an undrafted QB option, which is pretty darn good if you ask me. I really like the Christian Gonzalez pick. If somehow he falls to the Steelers at 17, I think the Steelers have to take him. I think he's that good. I think he's going to be a star in the National Football League. All right, guys, first, uh, before we get into some more mock drafts here from you guys, I want to tell you about our sponsor at Fanatics, and they have a great selection of uh terrible towels. If you if you don't have a terrible towel, guys, you are not a true Pittsburgh Steelers fan. I got mine from Fanatics. I got it right here. I got classic gold. You can go with classic gold. You got a bunch of different designs. They got Spanish one. They got a camo one, uh, a great Father's Day gift. They actually have a Father's Day design terrible towel. So if you want to get your dad something, uh, for Father's Day, that'd be a great gift. They have really great prices. It's about $12 a towel. You really want to check it out, guys. You got to go to chatsports.com slash terrible towel to get your terrible towel today. All right, next one comes from Declan C., one of the friends of the show here, and he had to say, 
For this, I'm assuming that the Steelers will sign a linebacker in free agency and re-sign Cam Sutton along with Robert Spillane. So getting that out of the way. 17, another guy picking Joey Porter Jr. Lots of people, lots of Steelers fans want Joey Porter to be a Steeler. And then Darnell Wright at 32, another fan favorite. Uh, someone that's probably going to play right tackle or guard in the National Football League. Don't mind that pick at all at number 32. Mozzie Smith in the second round again. Another mock with Mozzie Smith. He's an athletic freak. He's showing that at the Combine. Uh, he showed that at the Combine this week. Uh, he's going to be a great run stuffer. Keanu Benton. So you're kind of double dipping here with nose tackles because Mozzie Smith and Keanu Benton are kind of those big body nose tackles. So I'm not sure if I had double dip, I would probably take one or the other, but not both. Uh, then Julius Brents, I don't think he's going to make it to 121. He showed out at the Combine this week. I think he's probably going to be a day two pick. Uh, got a really long corner out of Kansas State, but if he falls to 121, then that's a great pick. Then you got Jerome Carvin and Noah Gindorf to finish it off in the seventh round. Pretty good uh, mock, if I do say so myself, to Clan C. And then next up here, we got Trey. And he had Kelly Ringo at number 17. I, I mean, he ran a really fast 40. He's a freak. He showed out at the combine this week. Uh, so I'm not sure. I, I kind of hope that... <laughs> Let's put it this way. I would flip your number 32 pick, Kalijah Cansey, with Kelly Ringo. I think Kalijah Cansey is going to go a lot earlier uh, than 32. I think he showed out at the Combine. He showed some really great stuff. And I think you could maybe get Kelly Ringo in the second round at the top of the second round because there's so many good corners. So I'd say flip lows. Then you got Darnell Wright at pick 50. Don't think he's going to be there at number 50. Frankly, Mozzie Smith, 81. He might be there. Drew Sanders, 121. Probably won't be there. Drew Sanders will probably be a second or third round pick. And then you got B.J. Thompson. You guys know how much I love B.J. Thompson, uh, the freaky edge rusher out of Stephen F. Austin, the Max Duggan uh, coming up in the seventh round. So not bad whatsoever. I really like this. I, like I said, I would switch the first and second round picks. And then there's a couple guys in here like Drew Sanders and Darnell Wright that I'm not sure are going to be there at the slots that you have them. But overall, pretty darn good mock draft, Trey. And if you guys want Steelers draft coverage all offseason long, this is what we provide for you here at Steelers talk okay we got Steelers draft rumors pretty much each and every day here on the channel then we also got prospect analysis and rankings so if you want to know what's what with all of these different candidates who might fit the Steelers uh, defense and offense schematic all that different stuff this is the place for you and then also we do Steelers mock drafts here on the show every single or every other week here on the channel. We, we, we try to give you guys a mock draft every two weeks, try to give you guys extensive Steelers draft coverage all off season long. So go ahead and subscribe for me right now. All right, next mock draft comes from friend of the show, Dominic Schrader tunes in to every single show. He has PZ Jr., which means Joey Porter Jr., number one. He's had him as his Number one pick for the Steelers in every single mock draft he has sent me. Then you got Darnell Wright with the second round pick. Not bad at all. John Michael Schmitz out of Minnesota. Really good player. Really good uh, plug and play interior offensive lineman. Like that pick. Jervin Dexter in the third round. Hopefully he would fall to the third round. Uh, if he fell there, that would be fantastic. He's a good run stuffer. Dorian Williams, the linebacker from Tulane, athletic freak, really showed out at the Combine this week. Trey Dean, the third, in the seventh, not bad whatsoever. And then Dallas Daniels, the Jackson State wide receiver. Pretty darn good mock draft, if I do say so myself, Dominic. And finally, guys, the last mock draft that I'm reacting to today is not, is not Webb's World 1 who has Brian Branch, the defensive back from Alabama, in the first round. Really like Brian Branch. He's a Swiss Army knife. He would fit in well. It, just imagine this, de this Steelers defense with Minka Fitzpatrick and Brian Branch, two very versatile chess pieces for Mike Tomlin to deploy on defense. Uh, the Steelers defense would be very, very scary with Brian Branch. And Jordan Addison, number 32, I think that's a little... I think it's a little bit of wishful thinking here to think that Jordan Addison's going to fall to number 32. He's an, ex he's an exceptional route runner. He's probably not going to make it to the second round. Darnell Wright at number 50. I think that's, I, once again, I, I, I'm not sure if he's going to make it to pick 50. I think you're probably going to have to either take him in the first round, and he might fall to number 32, uh, but 50 is going to be a bit rich there. And then Drew Sanders at 81. I think he's probably going to go a little higher than that, but maybe he falls to 81. Keanu Benson, 121. That would be a really, really great pick. Great run stuffer has a little bit of pass rushing upside really like him as well and then Re Red John Wright really like him as well cornerback Luke Schoonmaker I wouldn't probably go with Luke Schoonmaker from Michigan because he's more of a, a more of a receiving tight end uh you know I just I think that with the Steelers already having Pat Fryermuth and Connor Hayward 
two receiving, kind of smaller guys, not great blockers on their roster. They need a bigger kind of tank at tight end to kind of uh, take on those blocking responsibilities in the run game. And then some undrafted signings, Shaq Davis and Emmanuel Wilson. All right, guys, uh, if you want to see my mock draft for the Pittsburgh Steelers, you can check it out right now. The, the, the link for my video that we put out last week uh, it's in the comments and description of today's video. So that's going to be it for today's show, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed the content here. And type real one if you are a true Yenzer, a true fan of the show, and made it to the end. I really do appreciate everyone that watches from beginning to end. So go ahead and identify yourself right now in the comment section by typing real one in all caps.